Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we're going to make a recipe from the Raw Tarian, an absolutely amazing raw chef in Canada. We're going to use a really simple recipe here. You do need a dehydrator to finish it off, but I'm going to give you some tips just in case you don't have one. So easy. All we need to do is put one tablespoon of olive oil straight into our blender jug. Actually, we're going to double the recipe. Two tablespoons of olive oil into the blender jug. Now once we've got the two tablespoons of olive oil in there, we're going to put about a half to one teaspoon of Himalayan or Celtic sea salt. Both of these salts are good healthy salts that you want to include into your daily eating plan. They have amazing amounts of minerals and because we keep regrowing the same crops in the same soil year in and year out, the soil is becoming devoid of uh, minerals and we're not getting as many from the food that we eat. So this is a great way of adding them back into your food. We're going to add four tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is great in vitamin B12. Some people like to avoid this one and I don't include it very much in my eating plan simply because it's very moorish. It has a similar structure to MSG, so that same want to have more, want to have more from eating it, but it's got a really great cheesy flavor and really good for people who have been vegan or raw vegan for a long time because it does give you that boost in B12 that can get low, as most B12 sources are from animals. And then we're gonna throw two tablespoons of granulated onion. You can use onion powder, but because of the blender, I'm just going to use the granulated onion. Throw that all into the blender together and blend it until it makes a paste. Upside down's a bit hard. Add a tiny bit more olive oil to get that pasty texture going. I'm not very good with measurements. And just scrape down the walls of the blender jug to make sure that you get fully mixed. Now the nutritional yeast, to be honest, tastes a bit like cheese on its own, but this uh, sticky mixture will make sure that it sticks to our popcorn. And we're going to have a look at what that is in just a sec. A nice paste in the bottom there. And as usual, I'm going to give it a taste. Yum. Oh, yum. Really yum. So to make popcorn, how do we make popcorn without cooking it? What we're going to use is cauliflower. Cauliflower is a fantastically versatile particular um, ingredient to use in raw food. Or if you want to um, trick your kids into having a few more healthy things, you can really um, improve meals with this one. I've made beautiful cauliflower rice with sushi seasoning and you can have a look on some of the other YouTube uh, videos on this channel, we've made cauliflower sushi. Um, you can use cauliflower by just pulsing small pieces of it in your optimum blender into those rice resembling sized pieces and then include it in any of the recipes that you would like to use rice for. You can also mash cauliflower um, and use it in place of mashed potatoes. So there's plenty of ways of using it. So you saw I took one big floret, chopped it into popcorn sized pieces and I've got a whole bowl of them right here on the side. So to finish off, this is so simple and so easy. I'm going to take this pasty mixture and scoop it out onto the popcorn and rub it in with my fingers. I'm looking forward to eating this. Yeah. Then using your fingers, you simply rub that sticky mixture over the outside of all of the cauliflower florets. You can eat it just like this, it's actually pretty good. If you have a dehydrator, you're going to pop your dehydrator on 40 degrees, about 100 and five degrees Fahrenheit and dehydrate it for four to six hours until it goes crunchy and crispy. It's got that great cheesy flavor on the outside. It's going to be just as moorish as regular popcorn really is. If you don't have a dehydrator though, you've got an option. 
you can leave your oven door ajar. Spread the popcorn mixture over a flat tray and put the oven on 100 degrees Celsius. Now from this, with the door ajar and that little bit of heat escaping, the oven should sit about between 40 and 45 degrees um, Celsius, which is exactly what you want to dehydrate this kind of recipe. And then you still dehydrate for four to six hours, but just in your um, oven instead of the dehydrator. It's not exactly the same finish, but it certainly is well worth it if you'd like some warm popcorn and you don't have a dehydrator available to you as yet. So you can see here, it's gone a little bit yellow. Um, it's all rubbed in quite easily. And if you were to eat a piece right now, it tastes absolutely delicious. I'm not though, I'm gonna spread it out over these dehydrated trays and we'll be ready to go in no time. So the same as if you're using an oven, just spread it out a little bit so it can breathe and doesn't steam on each other. And then I'm gonna pop that in the dehydrator. So it'll be four to six hours. That'll be ready, tasty and delicious. If you'd like to see more great recipes like that, or even better, if you have your own recipe similar to this, I'm always looking for more. This one came from The Rotarian. You can see her at www.rotarian.com. And if you'd like to add a recipe of your own, pop it down in the comments below, and I'll make a video for yours. Ciao for now.